Webbing the surf is a metaphor for people who work online to live wherever and however they want. Work the web, enjoy the surf, whatever your surf may be. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Webbing the Surf. It's been a little while and I'm super excited to kick back up. Today we've got Joseph Molina uh, joining us and uh, let's just jump right into it. Joseph, where are you from? And uh, what are you up to? Um, I'm from Barcelona, Spain, okay. and uh, I'm, I'm running a creative agency. I'm the business owner of a creative agency specialized in classical music. It's a really unique niche, and I absolutely love it. We're in the same field, we're colleagues, yeah. but it's pretty cool. It's a niche that I, I've never seen anyone kind of focus on before. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. So what brought you here to Mexico? Actually, just curiosity. We like. Um, actually, we are expanding the agency more in the U.S. territory, and having a kind of a base, warm base. Now that we are in, you know, in cold winter, uh, so having a, a based, warm base next to, you know, the U.S. and uh, being able to jump in and fly into the U.S. and being in a, in, in the paradise. So that was, I think, part of the the. Just to go and go to Puerto Vallarta in Mexico. And for how long will you be here this trip? I mean, we've been in the other part of Mexico too for a couple of months, and now here we're staying two more months, and probably we'll go back to Playa del Carmen a little bit more. And meanwhile, jumping into the States and going out uh, just for some meetings. So, yeah, I guess for maybe in total of half a year. And have you been running your agency from any other locations besides Barcelona and Mexico? Yeah, Bali and... Oh, wow. Yeah, so different, I would say all around. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, so, talk to us, uh, for how long in total have you been managing client work remotely? In total, I would say... Are most of your clients in the U.S.? No, Europe. In most Europe. of them in Europe and now starting in the U.S. Um, I would say a couple of years. Yeah? Yeah, a couple of years. And what have you found over the years to be the most challenging part of running a, a client-based business when you're in a different location? I think the first point is the trust. You need someone on location with them, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to you know, creative agency that you, you need to brainstorm together. You need to, yeah, you need to have that feeling. So, yeah. Uh, we have strategists actually in the agency. We have strategists in Europe and States. So those roles are able to fly and visit the clients we have on location. So I think that's for our business, it's important to have someone on location. It's really interesting because again, we're, we're in the same industry, right? And a lot of our clients are, are not in the town where our company is based yeah. in Clifton, New Jersey. But more and more, it's all about creating media, whether it be photo or video. Yeah. And that, you know, we, we're finding that we're trying to source, you know, people that we can work with in all these different places. Yeah. And it's, it's kind of interesting how this is all going to play out. But yeah, if you can actually fly someone in to figure that out, that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so where's next? You mentioned Playa del Carmen. Are you going to go anywhere outside of Mexico? Um, I don't think so at this time. I think we have a fly. Uh, take it back to Barcelona. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll visit some family and friends for some months. And I guess it will be more summertime in those areas. Maybe we'll stay there around a little bit. It's beautiful, springtime and summertime in Europe. It's, it's really beautiful. I bet, yeah. So, you know, we're we, we are trying to escape all the time, you know, the cold winter. Exactly, and yeah. since we have a little boy, we have a, a, a one year. Oh, great. Uh, so, Me too. Yeah, I could. Yeah, that's awesome. So we are kind of, you know, escaping, you know, just to avoid all the jackets. <laughs> yeah. It's just so... Good plan. Yeah. So You said your team is about like seven people? Yeah. And so do you guys work on one project at a time or do you manage multiple? Multiple projects. Yeah. Actually, the poor people is seven people, uh, you know, half or even full time. Uh, but the rest is kind of outsource or we, we call that the pool of creatives. So if we need more copywriters, if we need yeah. more developers, and more designers. So we, we just hire them for the project. And what were you doing before you started this company? Actually, I was a violinist. That's oh, really? That's why I started ah, okay. with the classical well, that music makes sense. industry. I, yeah. you know, I, know, I know the field. and uh, So I was a violinist, and then I became a photographer. Okay. Um, uh, specialized in classical music. So that was kind of already the first step of the agency. And uh, from that, I moved to being more a creative director, more storyteller, and using 
the team to create you know photos and, and videos and uh, artwork design for the CDs and that actually transitioned to the creative agency that we have today. Very cool. So one question that we like to ask everyone on the show is what are the top three tools, like your favorite tools, besides the Gmail and, and whatever, yeah. that you use on the, uh, every day that you couldn't do your job without? There's an, a time management tool. I, I don't, I mean, it's not a time management, it's just a to-do tool, mm -hmm. but it's not very known, and I love it. It's called Daymap. Daymap. Day map and it's so simple, but it just allows you to create different projects mm -hmm. and put in some you know to do list and organize that drag and drop onto your onto your week, and it's just a very natural intuitive way to to do it. Mm -hmm. It's you know interface. It's not very sexy, uh, but it works like you know I have I have it open all the time, so I couldn't survive without without that one. Cool I've day map. That. What else? Uh, apart, apart of all the Google integrations, uh, I would say we use Teamwork okay. to manage our team remotely. Teamwork, process steps, checklists, project managers love that tool, mm -hmm. so I think they couldn't survive with that one. And uh, what else apart from Slack? Um, just to be you know, to All right, so the last question would be, uh, are you going to nomad forever, or do you think you'll eventually settle down in one place? It's interesting because you're nomading with a child. Yeah. Most people are, are like single, so it's very easy for them to pick up and go. Yeah. Um, for us, that's a really good question actually, but for us, it was the nomadic thing, it was more about... Climate, the philosophy. Like. <laughs> no, it was more about actually the philosophy of being flexible uh -huh. rather than go and travel the world. So it wasn't our purpose to say, hey, we will go here and then here and then just, you know, just kind of checking the list of different countries and places. Right. It was more about be, be, being able to, to move whenever, whenever they, we, sorry, to move whenever we want, mm -hmm. um, as much as we want. Geographically liberated is the term we've kind of been exactly. using. Exactly, and, and not depending so much on geography and one country, I and mean, we, we live in such a you know, revolutionized world. And, I think it's it's wise to not be depending on a one country's industry or, or, or economy at that point. So being able to be flexible and move on, just you know, yeah, go to a better place yeah. for you to thrive. So I think it's just more about philosophy, and it's so easy to settle. You just need to pay the rent longer, yeah, and that's it. So <laughs> it's just about I think keeping life simple. We have, I mean. You know, just everything in one yeah, case. And, yeah, you have and, to if you want to hop and, around. And that's that's very liberating, I think. It is. Yeah. Joseph, well, thank you so much for joining us. What's your URL for people to check out? Uh, what you're MolinaVisuals.com. MolinaVisuals.com. Yeah. And don't forget to work the web so you can enjoy the surf, whatever your surf may be. We'll see you next episode.